About one year ago, Microsoft teased us with the idea that we could have apps on Windows 11. Android apps, that is. And then they delivered Amazon App Store. Because we all know that when it comes to Android apps, Amazon is the place to start. Surfing Amazon App Store is not the most fun thing to do. You will find basically nothing here. Mostly kids stuff, I guess. And what's worse is that after one year, things are pretty much the same. The same apps like in the beginning, same amount, nothing new, nothing more. The only difference is that the platform is not in beta testing anymore and you can log in from anywhere in the world. Before, it was just available in the US and you had to set all your system, your device on US. Like me, for example, I live in Germany, I had to set everything, language, location and everything else on US just to have Amazon App Store in the end. Yay! Of course, things quickly progressed and people, individuals, stepped in and made it possible to have Play Store, Google's Play Store, on Windows 11 with the help of WSA. But everyone who tried this had to admit, sooner or later, that it wasn't the most stable thing. Play Store crashed a lot. A lot of apps didn't work because were not optimized for this and you could not even run them properly. So besides Play Store crashing, the apps were crashing as well, it was not a very stable environment. I have a couple of videos about how to install WSA or Windows Subsystem for Android with Play Store. I will leave the links in the description. I mean, they are one year old, my videos, and I know that the methods may have slightly improved in this time, but the idea is the same. And I bet that crashes still happen. And that's also the reason why I never made new videos about it, never update this topic on my channel. But now, things seem to change in the good way. Things look much better now for Android apps on Windows because Google decided to step in the game. Google Play Games for PC is a platform that brings Android games to PCs running high performance emulation. The platform is still in beta and it's available in only a few countries like United States, Thailand, Australia, Brazil, Canada, Hong Kong and so on. But don't worry, I will return to this in a few moments. As for minimum requirements, you need at least Windows 10, an SSD with 10GB of available storage, 8GB of RAM, minimum Intel 630 GPU, but the recommended minimum is NVIDIA GeForce MX 450 and of course higher. 4 core CPU but recommended 8 cores and of course hardware virtualization and all that stuff must be enabled. If you don't live in any of the countries selected for the beta testing, there are, of course, still ways on how you can install Google Play games for PC, like using VPN, for example, which is way easier comparing to installing Play Store on WSA with involving GitHub and patches and all that stuff. With a good stable VPN, you can just switch your location to one of the eligible countries like USA, for example, and then follow the download and the installation procedures like normal. Of course, you have to have a good VPN connection because you have to be connected at all times, while installing Google Play games, while downloading games and while playing them. And as for the games, needless to say, there's a huge difference with what you find on Amazon App Store and what you find here. The service currently allows you to play with a handful of games such as 1945 Air Force, Asphalt 9, Summoner's War, Blade Idol, Idol Heroes, Cookie Run Kingdom and even titles like Genshin Impact, Genshin? Genshin? Nah, I don't know. State of Survival, Left to Survive or Last Shelter. The catalog has around 70 games at the moment. I don't know if it depends on the region, on the, on the country. I tested on USA and it has 70 games. But I'm pretty sure that Google will continue to add more titles. Let's not forget that this is still beta version. As for the gaming experience, I had absolutely no issues. Everything ran smoothly as it gets. Except for the fact that I refused to install Genshin Impact because it had 45 gigs in size and I didn't want to do this over VPN. Gaming on this platform is something similar to what you might get from a well-oiled, to say it like this, Android emulator with all the settings just right for your device. Well, something like this, just that you don't have to make any settings of your own. Because the games that are offered in the catalog are very well optimized for PC. And honestly, more you cannot even ask for, because at the end of the day, that's exactly what it's supposed to do. Play games smoothly. 
So yeah, Google Play Games as it is in its beta version is already a huge amount of steps in front of Windows Subsystem for Android and Amazon App Store who is already on the market since more than one year now. I still don't understand to this day how come Microsoft chose to partner with Amazon instead of Google but anyway, that's their loss because everyone will forget about WSA and Amazon App Store once Google Play Games for PC will officially release worldwide.